Hey, welcome back to the Signature Movement. It's your girl Tanya D. Floyd in the kitchen. Um, it's usually my happy place, but I've been doing a rack of thinking. Let me tell you. Um, first of all, I did have a inspiration today. It's been a long time, but so I made these big chicken wings today. And make no mistake, while they are nice and light skinned and goldeny, believe you me, these chicken wings right here. We're baked at 350 for about 45 minutes, and they um easily fall apart. They don't take much effort at all. You see what's, what's going on in there and all the juices and the, you know, situations and things. They are by no means suffering. Um, The white dog is, as usual, close by waiting for me to give him the all clear. Yeah, meanwhile, let's talk about something. So, it, it came to me today, the lyrics to the song, You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman, I've been feeling that a lot lately. It's, um, you know how she says, looking out on the morning rain, I used to feel so uninspired, totally uninspired lately. I have made myself come up with concepts for the boy's brand and my brand and Every now and then, the idea will peek through, but I realized today what the problem is. It's like, um, okay, what did, let's finish with the words. Um, I used to feel so uninspired. Um, I had it all together. I know the words, but 51 menopause. But anyway, um, she was like, I used to feel like something was wrong with me. Blah, 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 blah. But, you know, your, your, your love help me do this, that, and the other, and you make me feel like a natural woman. You know the thing. You know what it is. Um, once upon a time, <laughs> yeah, I'm a once upon a time. Once upon a time, I wrote books, and I had a podcast. And it's funny, yesterday, um, Spreaker, where I had my podcast, they sent, up, sent out a, a set of instructions on how to Mm, girl, get it together. How to share your podcast on Instagram and add the link so people can get to it, right? My podcast hasn't had a new episode since 2014, I believe. But, you know, the name of the game with me is Timeless Classic Things. Like, when I do a design, it's got to be timeless and classic, and it won't go out of style anytime soon. It has to be you know, reflective of your personality, but I also have a high respect for the timeless. Same thing with all my work. It's got to be something you can read in five or 10 years and it still applies because I go to the basics of human nature. It's anyway, you, you know, if you know, you know, if you don't, you'll learn. But like I was frustrated at one point with my writing and podcasting because it was all about people and their internal stuff. And relationships and how we relate to each other with our internal stuff and that whole thing. So I got frustrated because I felt like people weren't receiving me. And it, not that it was a waste of my time, but that the audience I was talking to was not ready for what I was presenting to them. Same thing today with real estate. Let me tell you, I gave so many good real estate tips in the last three years. Ain't nobody hear me. But all the things I said are happening right now. <laughs> like, it's mind-blowing. It's happening right now. But they just, look, cooking, lifestyle, interior style, personal style, you know, clothes, fashion, furniture, all the stuff, it goes and it comes and it goes and it comes. It, it's, it's just, what am I trying to say here today? I'm frustrated. I told you that, right? People aren't always ready for what you have or offer to them. Even if it's going to improve their life, they're not always ready for what you bring. And you can't allow yourself to fall too deep in the pit because of their reaction to you or their lack of response to you. Um, I haven't written a book well, I wrote a book a couple of years ago and published it. But before that, I think my last book was The Signature Movement in 2014 when I was doing the podcast. Yes. So for a good 
six years, I didn't do nothing about relationships or any of that. Because, I mean, like, every now and then I'll put a post on social media, but it doesn't get a whole lot of response. Because people aren't always ready for what you bring, even if it's great. And now I realize that, A, I was usually right. And B, I just got to find a better audience, a more responsive. I need to find the people who need what I have to offer. Somebody keeps telling me over and over again, you're on the right track. Just keep going. And I'm like, I just get so uninspired sometimes. I get so frustrated. I get so deflated. I get so... What I offer, what I know, what I have taught myself, what I have researched, what I have learned should be making me so much money because <laughs> the way I research real estate information, it's like, I don't know what y'all other agents be out there doing, but you ask me something about the markets that I have to be responsible for that I might sell a house in, I'm going to tell you what way it's going. I'm not going to tell you just what it is today. I'm going to tell you where it's going because I've been watching it for years. <laughs> and I know what changes the people want to make it go up in value. That's my job. It's what I do. And then there are people who want to hire me, you know, because I have a license, but they don't really respect what I know or what I do because they just need somebody with a license to do it for them. And, you know, they got their own ideas about how it should go. So we clash. But that's another thing, another topic for another day where, you know, I always talk about on social media, choosing your clients. It's real important. Choose your clients. Don't just take the money because it's coming. Pick who you're going to work with, who's going to be receptive to what you have to say, and who's going to respect you enough to toss around the ideas that they have and even disagree with you in a respectful way and be like, okay, but you're the professional, so let's just see how this goes. Because... You can't make your money if you're telling them wrong stuff because it ain't going to work out, right? I'm trying to get paid. I'm trying to see you win. And, you know, if you just listen, it's a win-win. If you don't listen, we can do it your way. It ain't going to work, though, because this is what I do. I know what I know, okay? But, yeah, I was having some uninspired, I don't feel like cooking nothing. <laughs> I don't feel like cleaning nothing. I would like for somebody to bring me breakfast in bed because half the time it's hard to get up out the bed and go do stuff. I don't feel like it. I don't want to. I've been brainstorming in bed for the last seven, eight days. I got up a few times and went outside and handled some business, but for the most part, I'm just brainstorming in bed. This ain't healthy, I know, but it's real. It's what I got to deal with um, until I get that spark or that project that makes me feel like I'm on fire <laughs> and the ideas just keep coming rapid fire until something like that happens. Then I'm going to just keep brainstorming from the bed and, you know, cricket here and there, create something here and there. I mean, I did the two boys bedrooms two weeks ago. So, I mean, I'm not, you know, totally at a, you know, I'm not, I'm not lost. I'm just looking for something to excite me. But anyway, I, I started to tell you about when I stopped doing the relationship stuff, I started baking cakes and that was good for a while. Um, up until about, you know, last year, even during COVID, I was delivering like a mug during COVID. People were calling me all, you know, all over the place from other States saying, Hey, so-and-so is, you know, shut, uh, what do you call it? What, what did we call it? Not shelter in place. We were, uh, Oh my God. You know, when we were stuck in the house, I can't think of these words no more. What is going on with me? But anyway, we all stuck in the house. So they were calling me from different states around the country, talking about take so-and-so a birthday gift, a cookie. Some guy called me from, not called me, he emailed me, placed an order from somewhere in London. <laughs> he said, it's my sister's birthday, take us some cookies. He did it like three times during COVID. My nephew's birthday, take him some cookies. It was just so so cool that that could happen, right? But anyway, it slowed down a little bit after COVID when people started going back outside. And I, I have, you know, dessert orders here and there, but it's just, I keep going through these phases with my businesses when real estate's not hot, like spring market about to start popping right now, like February, March, boom, we're going outside. We can buy a house, sell a house, whatever. But like when real estate's not hot, then I have to go to design. And when design's not hot, like... Design is cool between 
March and October, November, generally for me. But then it cools down and, you know, it's about to be March again, so we'll see. But then I get the whole, you know, seasonal baking thing. It just, it's been very predictable and very uh, positive the way it's been going because I don't have to burn myself out. Sometimes they overlap. Like um, in the spring going into the summer, it overlaps with the real estate and the baking. And then in the summer going into the fall, the, the, the baking clashes with the real estate sometimes. But for the most part, I've been fortunate enough to have all my stuff, you know, coming and going when it's, you know, the other thing is phasing itself out. So amen to that. Um, but right now I'm in a holding pattern because nothing's popping and again people just aren't ready for some of the things that i want to do i work with this guy sometimes he's a handyman carpenter i don't want to put a label on him he does a lot of stuff he pretty much can do anything i ask him to do and i was trying to get him to work with me on some things i have that i want to do some building that i want to do but he's got his own stuff going on and it's not really a priority for him like it is for me. So I'm frustrated that I can't do that. So many things in my head I want to get out, but I need people to help me. I need a team. I need builders. I need crafters. I need some brilliant young people to help me with these ideas I have for a youth um, fashion line. So many. But I'm, I'm up against these brick walls because, again, when I try to offer people something, I have I have this whole period of fear where it's like, they're not going to want it. They're not going to get it. They don't hear you. <laughs> so I got to keep fighting myself on that. But, no, so many things in this head. If we could just get them to come out and play and make them a thing, then I can market them. But now I know I can't market them to my sphere of influence. I have to market them in other areas and see how they do around the country. Or, well, let's stick with the country because international shipping, I ain't ready to deal with that. But yeah, let's just see what people in other areas think about some of the things I'm trying to do. If I could just get them built, get them made, get them, you know, designed, it would be great. Anyway, um, the point was, again, sometimes people are not ready for what you got. Deal with it. Keep being bril brilliant. Keep being great. And um, I'm not going to say those people will come around, but you will get around to finding your people. So be encouraged. If you feel like me, I'm going to pray for you too. Pray for me. <laughs> I know it, it, it's, it's a lot some days. It's just a lot trying to carry so much. You know, the life of a visionary, the life of an artist, the life of a creative is so hard. <laughs> but you can do it. You got this. You were blessed with this ability because you can do it. So get through your tests. Whatever the devil trying to take you down for, or what he trying to use against you, just keep praying about it. You're going to get on over to the other side because you were endowed, imbued, infused with so many things that can, you know, keep you moving forward. Like other people would have folded by now, hands down, easily. Somebody just hear the challenge that you got to, get, you know, face and they'd be like, oh, no, I ain't doing that. I ain't built like that. And they know it. But yeah, find your people. I'm going to find my people. And let's get it. Okay? Have a great day.